Next up on WTV, details on Teachers Night Out, the school's blood drive, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Thursday, December 13th, and I'm Minuki Matis, here with another daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. Student Council is helping teachers by babysitting their kids free of charge and giving them a night out. WTV's Ariela Rodriguez has the story. Teachers have the opportunity to drop off their children in room E101 on Thursday, December 13th from 5 to 9 p.m., where members of Student Council will be looking after them for the evening. Stuka began this last year as an initiative to give teachers an opportunity to have the evening to themselves. They have a night out to do whatever it is that their heart desires. They might go out to dinner with a spouse, get some um, holiday shopping done, whatever it is that they want to do. And their children will stay with the student council members and will have activities like uh, cookie decorating, watching a holiday movie, playing some games, and uh, making some holiday festive decorations, things like that. And then they'll be fed, of course, and then their parents will come and pick them up when it's over. The event will provide the children with Chick-fil-A nuggets and fruit along with different games and crafts. Sign-up links have been sent to teachers and staff with no fees attached. Parents are expected to pick up their child as soon as the event is over. Reporting for WTV, this is Ariel Rodriguez. What could be just a few drops of blood could have the chance to save someone's life. WTV's Wade Glover has the details. HOSA is hosting a school-wide blood drive in the gym tomorrow in partnership with Carter Blood Care. Students must be 16 or older to donate with 16-year-olds needing a signed parent permission form. Students must also be over 110 pounds and cannot have traveled outside of the country in the last year. Seniors who participate in two blood drives their senior year will be awarded a blood cord for graduation, and students in HOSA will be able to collect HOSA points. Before donating, it's suggested donors eat a good breakfast, preferably with carbs, stay hydrated, and get a good night's rest before the blood drive. If you want to sign up, contact Laura Stubblefield in room E106 or a HOSA officer through the Remind at LHS HOSA 19. Reporting for Wingspan TV, I'm Wake Glover. On this week's edition of My Life As, WTV takes a look into the life of Icelandic tourist Brian Higgins. Overlooking a fjord, we stayed for about a week in an Airbnb cottage that was amazing. It's a small country, but there are tons of waterfalls just randomly along the road. We would discover these waterfalls, get out of the car, walk out, yeah. take a look at them. Um, perhaps one of the most touristy things we did was the Blue Lagoon, which, while touristy, was simply amazing. My children loved it. You start off inside, and it was pretty cold this day, and then you walk outside, and it's this very almost eerie Mars-like scenario where it's just stunning, the water's warm. Then it was back in the car for more driving where we went to check out a geyser that unlike Old Faithful, which goes off every hour to hour and a half, this goes off every five to six minutes. More waterfalls, we were able to walk behind it, which was the coldest I've ever been, I think, as the water spit out and was freezing. From there, we went to Gullfoss and saw tons of rainbows over the water. Uh, one of the most amazing sights I've seen. I know I use the word amazing a lot, but it was stunning. Walked right up to the edge of the waterfall, and from there we went to this place called Crater Lake, which was not formed by an asteroid, but a volcano that caved in on itself. It was very serene, one of the most uh, peaceful places in the world. And then finally, before we left, we actually got snow, and that's our trip in Iceland. WTV Sports brings you a look at what's happening in campus athletics. Frisco is known to be a sports powerhouse as it's the home of the Dallas Cowboys, the Dallas Stars Practice Arena, Frisco Rough Riders and Dr. Pepper Ballpark, and FC Dallas and the National Soccer Hall of Fame. Now coming to the area is the NCAA Division II National Championship game. McKinney ISD Stadium was one of several bids the NCAA Division II Football Committee received to be the host of the game. McKinney ISD Stadium and Community Event Center was finished this past fall with a total cost of $69.9 million. The stadium has partnered with the Lone Star Conference, which includes Anhalo State University, Midwestern University, and others in order to host the game. The game is set for this Saturday between number one ranked of Adolsta State and number three Ferris State at 3 p.m. with ticket prices ranging from $20 to $25. For Wingspan TV, I'm Davis O'Brien. 
If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. WTV's Wade Glover has today's announcements. Esports Club is hosting a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament on Friday. HOSA is sponsoring the Carter Blood Drive Friday in the competition gym. That's it for today's daily update. This has been Manuki Matis for Wingspan TV.